The iOS 18 beta has reportedly bricked some iPhones, leaving them unresponsive and unusable, which has caused significant concern among users. Now, this issue arises due to several potential factors inherent in beta software. Critical bugs in the operating system can lead to system crashes or boot failures, preventing the device from functioning properly. Incomplete or improperly implemented features may cause conflicts within the system, resulting in freezes or continuous reboots. Compatibility issues with specific hardware configurations or third-party apps can also contribute to these problems as can failed installations that corrupt essential system components. Additionally, security vulnerabilities in the beta version may leave the device susceptible to malware or unauthorized access, exacerbating the risk of bricking. These incidents highlight the importance of caution when installing beta software and the necessity of backing up devices beforehand. Now, the worst part about all of this is that Apple will not repair or replace your device if it bricked while it was in the beta version of iOS. So if you do come across any issues that do end up bricking your device, you need to be able to replace it or fix it on your own. That's where we will offer a solution that has worked for a lot of people when experiencing a brick in your device. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Doctor Phone channel. My name is Francisco and today we will be talking about some of the biggest ways and reasons as to why iPhones got bricked while using iOS 18 beta software and we will be sharing with you a potential solution to fixing your bricked iPhone. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Part 1. How your iPhone probably got bricked now, when it comes to any beta of any software, it will naturally come with a lot of bugs. And while bugs haven't intentionally been left there to harm your device, these are software that is still in testing. And that is why other people sign up for the beta. So you really do have to be careful when using beta software because there are no guarantees of what can happen to your device. Granted, these things are not that common. And for example, I've experienced some bugs on iOS 18 beta and beta 2 and beta 3 for that matter, but nothing has straight up broken my device in the process. Process. Installing an iOS 18 beta version can potentially break your device due to several risks associated with beta software. Here are the primary ways that this can happen. Software bugs. Beta versions are inherently less stable and may contain significant bugs that can cause your device to become unresponsive or fail to boot properly. Critical bugs in the operating system can lead to system crashes or permanent malfunctions. Incomplete features. Some features in beta releases might not be fully implemented or optimized, leading to conflicts within the system. These incomplete implementations can cause the device to freeze, reboot continuously, or fail to load essential components. Compatibility issues. Beta versions may not be fully compatible with all hardware configurations or third-party apps, leading to crashes and instability. Incompatibility with more poor system components can prevent the device from functioning correctly. Failed installation. The installation process for beta software can sometimes fail, leaving the device in a corrupted state. If the device can't complete the installation or update process, it might become unusable until properly restored. Security vulnerabilities. Beta versions might not have all security measures fully in place, making the device more susceptible to malware or unauthorized access. Security breaches can cause significant harm, including bricking the device itself. And now we're going to move on to part two, how to fix your bricked iPhone. Now we're going to introduce the potential solution to your iPhone being bricked, that being the system repair module featured by the Wondershare Doctor Phone software. Wondershare Doctor Phone offers a comprehensive suite of tools for managing and maintaining mobile devices, making it an invaluable resource for users. And among its many features are data recovery, phone backup, data transfer, and system repair. The system repair module, in particular, stands out for its ability to address severe issues that users may encounter, such as those introduced by the iOS 18 beta. This module can resolve common iOS problems like system crashes, device bricking, severe battery drain, and connectivity issues. So by providing a straightforward user-friendly interface, it allows users to revert their devices to a stable state without data loss or the need for technical expertise. This makes Wondershare Doctor Phone an essential tool for anyone dealing with the unpredictability of beta software or other critical system malfunctions. With that said, let's try to explore the steps to fixing these issues through the software. Now, I do want to 
to make something very clear. These fixes won't actually fix the beta for you and magically make it more stable. That's not what's going to happen. It will just fix your device if it happens to get stuck somewhere with no way out, such as the issues that we mentioned above. This should be able to help you get your device back to working order. So to free your device and bring it back to your initial screen, these will be the best solutions available to us. So just follow the steps coming right up. So first things first, visit the Wondershare Doctor Phone website by clicking on the link in the description. Download the software and install it on your computer. Launch Doctor Phone and select System Repair. Now just open the Doctor Phone application, then click on the Toolbox tab and choose the System Repair option from the main interface. And then from here, use a USB cable to connect to your phone or iPad to your computer. Ensure that the device is detected by Doctor Phone. So Doctor Phone offers two modes: standard mode, which fixes common issues without data loss, and advanced mode, which resolves more severe issues but may result in data loss. Select the mode that best suits your needs. But in this case, we only need to select standard mode or standard repair in order to fix many of the more severe issues caused by the iOS 18 beta while still being able to retain all of your data. So from here, Dr. Phone will detect your device model and display the available firmware versions. Choose the appropriate firmware and click download to obtain the firmware package. Ideally, you would want to select the latest one, which will be the one shown on top. Or if you only see one available for your device, then just click on the one shown for you. Once the firmware is downloaded, click fix now to begin the repair process. Dr. Phone will start installing the new firmware on your device from there. The repair process may take some time. Ensure your device remains connected to your computer and do not interrupt the process. After the repair process is finished, your device will restart and you should see that the issues have been resolved. If you selected advanced mode by any chance, you might need to restore your data from a backup if that's what you ended up going for, but if you did standard mode with us and it worked just fine, then you shouldn't have any issues with your data. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. Let us know in the comments if the solution worked for you, and if it hasn't, then just tell us which phone breaking bugs you've been encountering and include any of your questions down below. Like our video if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell as well to stay updated whenever a new video is uploaded. With that said, have a great rest of the day.